Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today, I'm pretty sure that at this point you've all read the title and today I'll be showing you all how to build, well, basically these two things right here. A redstone loop contraction. So, but first, let me hop into first person POV mode. So, basically, we've got this cool loopy thing around here. And basically, what you have to do is, since it's been mostly set up, there's just one thing missing, and that is a redstone, ooh, a redstone torch. So, we place it on the right side of the block, and then that will start activating... Uh, the dispenser on a loop so as you can see there isn't really anything here but if we do insert put in let's say arrows I can't type today so let's say we put in arrows into this dispenser it's just going to keep on shooting arrows on the loop. So yeah, that's basically what the all this redstone stuff does. And once we break the redstone torch, then the loop stops. And then the uh, the whole redstone contraption thing uh, stops working. So yeah. No. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's basically a quick summary of this, of what this Leave me alone. can do. Uh, now, it it can't really, it doesn't have to be a dispenser. It can basically, basically be anything that relies on redstone, like a piston, like sticky piston. Uh, so, well, did not mean to do that. Let's get rid of these normal pistons. So, yep, yeah, let's put this here. And then, yep, and then let's go for some wool. No, actually, let's go for red. My favorite color is red. So, now, as you can see, it's just pulling it back, pushing it outwards. And you can also do this, which I think, oh, which I think is pretty cool. And this can be used for, I don't know, for some reason, constant uh, moving pathways for secret bases. Uh, but in that case, it, they wouldn't be secret anymore. Uh, but if, let's say you want to do that, you do want to do that. What you would do is put this first and then... Oh... And then we've got, okay, never mind. Okay, oh, days. There we go. Right, so yeah, uh, you guys get the point. So now, to come on to over here, this can be used as a multi cannon. So, as you can see, it's basically the same thing. The only difference is, yeah, uh, the it's wider, so the blocks and the redstone comparators all facing in the same direction are have been extended. So, and, uh, yeah, so how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So let's split these into five equal quantities of arrows. So, yeah. Now let's put in 12 arrows into each of these dispensers. And now to make this multi uh, cannon do its function, do this. And then yeah, there you have it. Now, I deeply apologize if it's not going that fast is because uh, basically, it's. I think it has something to do with the tick speed. Uh, let me just test that out. So, actually, I believe I've got operator commands. Yeah. So, game rule 
Tick. Tick. Oh my jeez. Tick speed. Or, oh, yeah, random tick speed. Random tick speed. And then let's move it up to 999, for example. Yeah, no, actually, just by uh, looking at how frequently uh, this redstone torch and or the other redstone uh, items are lighting up and turning off, yeah, that doesn't really make any difference. So yeah, game rule, random tick speed one, let's just set it back to normal. So yeah, basically, uh, I mean, thanks for the chicken, uh, and the egg and the feather, so yeah. And basically, if you guys still don't know how to build these uh, me mecha machines or mechanisms, then this is why this video has been produced. So, what you need is some redstone, of course, a redstone comparator. So let's just take these off. Uh, so, uh, we also do okay. Redstone dust. Then we need basically any block to carry out the redstone. I'll show you guys in a bit. And then we also have a dispenser arrow. Now. We've got all the apparatus we need, so let's start the building. So, we place a redstone here. Now, we do one redstone comparator facing any direction you like from this redstone dust here. And then, next to, in the, uh, next to the redstone comparator, in the direction it's facing, we put the block here, and then skip this space, Put a redstone dust here, another redstone comparator facing this way. Then we have this, and then uh, redstone here, another comparator here. And then we've got dispenser in front of the uh, optional block. And now for the final piece, redstone torch. And now there we go, move, move. And there we go. So that is how you build and make the mechanism perform its function. So anyway, let's get rid of this redstone torch. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is how I'm not, I don't know the specific name for this mechanism, but if I were to name it, which I will uh, for now, I would call it the redstone loop contraption. I, I don't know. So yeah, anyway, let's just go into third person from the front. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Leave if me you alone. did enjoy, then please leave make me sure alone. that you leave a like, get out, subscribe, leave me alone. oh my days. Make sure that you leave a like, I'm about to beat this job. Okay, I think at this point I'll just have to ignore the notifications. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Uh, so yeah, starting from now, I'll be posting on a weekly basis. So every Saturday or Sunday. Uh, and that depends on how lazy I am. Uh, but also... Uh, on what I have to do based on my plans on the weekends. But yeah, so I'll let you guys off, do your own thing. I'll see you guys in the next video, next week, next Saturday, or next Sunday. Later.